Hello, how are you? This is Mitzi of Love Till the Restored. How you doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to Love Till the Restored. Happy Monday, happy Monday. I thought I'd come on today and a few things. I was gonna like, give you guys an update on the giveaway fiasco that really was a fiasco but um praise god that my um, bank was able to block the payment so nothing went to the two people one person imposter or whatever as you guys know if you don't know i uh, did a previous video on um I did a previous video on my giveaway, my 1K. Thank you for getting me to 1K. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I am so happy uh, that, you know, we arrived here and I, you know, I wanted to do something so nice and, you know, and do these giveaways. You just never expected what I never expected to encounter anything is I don't think anyone expect that, but praise God, God was able to block everything. Um, nothing came out of my account. Um, and I was able to go towards the next person. So I want to congratulate Brenda H. Congratulations, Brenda. So Brenda is um, the winner of what we did today. We did a $50 cash app. Um, I did my I did my research on Brenda. Um, it's funny, I, I looked her up. So Brenda um, has a channel. Brenda's in the US. She is a beautiful woman. Um, and she, um, you know what I did? I looked her up on Facebook. I looked her up on Facebook. Um, I sent her a private messenger on Messenger on Facebook. That's not something I normally do, but I sent her a private message on uh, Messenger. And she responded and gave me her email address. I was able to email her. She has a Gmail too, so it's the same picture it's the same person as um as what was on her facebook the same person as what was on um youtube so i was able to uh you know email her you know let her know that she's the winner let her know that i have a 50 dollar walmart card or cash app or venmo whichever she would prefer um, and she said cash app. She gave me her cash app. Her picture on cash app is the same as who she is. So thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you. Congratulations. And uh, thank you for being so welcoming to, you know, with me looking you up on Facebook. Because that's not really a tool. But I just wanted to be certain. After what I went through um, with the previous uh, person. So, um I'm thankful of that, Brenda. Thank you so much. And, and this is for anyone, if you're ever thinking of doing a giveaway, I would suggest to make sure that the person is the person. Make sure the person is um, in the United States. I would make sure that they have a channel. Um, you know, it's nice to have people outside with that don't have a channel, but to make sure that they are who they are. Um, this was just something that I you know, did is I went, you know, looked her up on Facebook. That was her. Um, I sent her a private message on Messenger just to let her know who I am and why I was, you know, sending her that. I didn't know if she had seen the video about the giveaway fiasco that I had. So I just wanted to make sure um, for my own peace of mind and definitely, um, you know, to, to, to know that you know, after going through something like that with, with that, and you know, I was just saying that once after I did the video, all communication stopped. I didn't get any more emails. I didn't get any more messages from the imposter or the real person. I got absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. So, um, 
you know, once it just shows, once you uh, bring it to the forefront, you know, I didn't want to have to do that, but I mean, it was just like, it was just, you know, really, it took up, and then it took up so much time. Like, like who has time to be trying to, you know, I had a piece of paper and, and you know, with, with, with real one on this side, fake one on this side, this one sending this email, this one sending this email, this one saying this, this one saying this. And then, like I said, the emails was coming back to back. It was as if the imposter would send something, then a real person would send something right afterwards. The imposter was still something. The real and it just got too much but so thank you so much Brenda um, I truly appreciate it and I'm honored to have you as a subscriber and to have your support so I would definitely um, I would definitely say that to anyone that's given one to, to do your research if it's to look them up on uh, social media to make sure that they are who they say they are um, and that they, they're not, and, and they're using a name to be able to do that. Cause if you know, some have user A, B, C, D, E, S, C, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, you can't really, you know, validate that person, but you can validate if they have their whole full name. She had her whole full name. Her full name was her full name on Facebook. It was a full name on messenger. It was her full name on cash app. So that just all worked out full name on email. You know, everything was cohesive. So thank you, sister, for um, being true to who you are. <laughs> and the other thing, what else did I want to do? I wanted to show you guys, I finally got some cups. I, um, I'm not going to be on here real long. I have a call with my fellow um, workshop presenter. We need to go over some stuff for our next event. But um, I found three cups. That's all they had in the store. They had three. I went to um, Abington, Massachusetts. And they had three cups in their store. I don't know if they had had more. So I was able to get three. And then I have bought these really cute... Oh, let me show you some bags that I worked on. So, you know, I've been doing the little bags. Like I said, I have like you know a few events coming up and so i made these um they only have these are only um two items in it so this has the bath salts and the hand cream this hand cream is good i had this hand cream before this hand cream i don't know if you've ever had it it smells so good it's um peppermint it smells so good and it's, it's really rich too it's really rich so I have bought, um, I bought, they only had three of the lotion. They had more of the, the bath salts, but they only had three of the lotions. So I got the, um, I'm going to get some more too. Um, so these here are cute, right? The, um, and then what I did was, y'all like my bows? <laughs> my little bows, I'm like kind of proud of myself. I had bought some, um, some tule and some ribbon. And, you know, I did the little tool bow and put the ribbon on and tied it on. So they came out really cute. So like I said, they had a lot of the bath salts, but they only had, um, three of these lotions so i just and i didn't feel like going to another dollar tree i said okay i'll just do those three and then on my way out the store i did see that they had this set you know this set um you know this smells good too this was um ginger um scent the only thing i did put is a bath um sponge in it because the bath sponge, I think, well, for these, I can probably get a bath sponge in this one. But the one in here, the salt, the bath salts, uh, bath salts are too bulky. So it'll make it, you know, just a little bit um, too bulky. So I thought these are cute. So I'm adding this to my collection. Um, I have several events coming up. So that's what me and my team member have to get on with and these are going to work so good with me with um just blessing girls as with there. i'll take baskets too 
but um, I know it's going to be a magnitude of girls at um, one is a um, like a kind of a Halloween thing. Another is at a YMCA. Another one is at a, um, a sexual assault conference. So I'm just, you know, building for those. So these here are four more to add to the other ones that I have, you know, the purple and the burgundy ones and all of that. So I'm going to be taking these. So these are, um, you know, and after, you know, all that stuff happened, I just needed to chill out and just relax and do something different to get my mind. Because look, I was up here. <laughs> crazy you know one of the last emails that i got was like this scathing email um i can't believe you you call yourself a christian how dare you call yourself a and this is the person that's supposed to be the imposter i don't know who again i don't know who's who i mean rip me a new one rip when i said rip me a new one i was like are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I I was just like, okay, now we now we get into the real colors and the nitty gritty, you know, when a hustle don't go like you want it to go. So anywho, but I had also bought I had also bought these journals because my plan was these are so pretty. My plan was to put um, these journals with these, you know, in the in the back of the bag, and they don't fit. They're too wide. But I just love this fluorescent color. I just love it. And it's a self-care. And inside of this one, I don't think I've ever seen these ones. You know, they can write down how they're feeling. You know, I just thought this was really, really nice. This was a really, really nice journal. So, oh, and speaking of journal, um, D. Myris, you won the book. So let me know which book. I don't know which book you want. If you can let me know and send me your address so I can send it out to you. That's the only other thing that I know I need to do. Um, I sent you a couple messages, so just let me know. Um, so yeah, these are, is too wide for the bag. So it'll rip the bag. So I can't put them with it. So I was trying to think maybe I can just, um, when I hand the girls these bags, maybe hand them the journal or, um, save these for something else because it will be something else. So I'm not sure I would, yeah, you know, probably save it for something else because probably do something else and then the other thing I'm going to do is um my husband is going to be uh his bank small business um small black and brown owned business for the entire month of October so he'll have a table set up in the bank and um he'll have you know his postcards business cards all types of information telling about his business, our business, and he um he has to do a a raffle. Here we go, <laughs> a giveaway or whatever. Um, so he has to present a gift like based on his business. Like for instance, now it's for this month. It's a liquor store. Um, it's a black owned liquor store, and there business they have it set up they have their table set up and one of their giveaways I think is some type of wine or something like that so one of his giveaways will be um, a basket we're going to create a basket and I'm going to create a basket and put um, all type of things um, that pertains to hot dogs or cooking or whatever inside of it and one of his mugs one of his pens you know because we have pens um we were going to do a t-shirt but the only thing we're doing a t-shirt is the winner we don't really know what size and we have to because we want everything already in the basket and just present it so we're going to do a mug um 
one of the MIG Dogs mugs, the MIG Dogs journal, and the MIG Dogs pen. And then I'm going to add all this other stuff in it. So I have stuff for that. And I would, and uh, the theme is um, yellow and blue. It's the theme like um, for my husband's business. So I have found like a blue towel. Um, I don't know if you guys remember... I don't know if you have you ever seen these in um, Dollar Tree. It's the uh, little journal notebook um, that they have there. Yeah. It's just a plain little journal. It's cute. It has a hot dog on front. So that's what I was looking for, like, hot dog stuff. And so that's that. I'm going to throw some napkins in there. going to throw a tablecloth in it. And then we got um, some cute um, pot holders um, that says, always be nice to the chef. And it had the matching towel, always be nice to the chef. And so we just start to get like, you know, cooking stuff, just throw all kinds you know, I was just looking for whatever I can find in yellow, blue, white, anything pertaining to cooking or cooking out. Um, so a lighter, some tongs. So yeah, he'll be set up for the whole month and you can go and um, decorate the table for, um, you know, every Saturday you can go in and replenish. Oh, I should bring the, um, he has these little gummy, um, hot dogs. They're like, um, almost like fruit snacks for kids, but they're, they're hot dogs. We'll have those out on the table for, um, people who may come in the bank to, um, take one. I found these at Dollar Tree. It's the, um, the Oscar Mayer socks that are going in the basket. And then the other thing is just some mustard, ketchup, and relish. <laughs> ketchup, <laughs> relish. And again, it'll be the mug. It'll be um, the Mix Dog Journal and pen set. And that's in yellow, blue, and white. Let me see if I can bring, I'll show you guys the other thing. Let me, I'll be right back. So, oh, sorry. So the other thing I grabbed them are the um, these are the little they hot dogs. They are um, gummy. They, they taste good too. Yeah, they taste good. They're like it's a whole bag of them. We'll have them out. Of course, they're open because I had to sample them. <laughs> so. Um, we'll have these out on the table for people to just take, you know, we'll put some each week. So I bought these off of, um, Amazon, these little hot dog canisters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So these little hot dog canisters. So when I bought them, I thought they were big canisters. I, I don't know why I didn't even look at the size. But yeah, so they come like that. So I was trying to see how many can go in here. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is um, go to Dollar Tree and get, you know, one of those little clear containers and put some in. But we can at least decorate the table with these. Um, so these are cute. These came from Amazon. I think they were, um, you got two for $13. I think they, these two would, they were like $13 for both. 
And then the other thing that we got was um, some balloon. Oh, it must still be in there. So we got some balloons. So this balloon is a, um, it's a hot dog. And I have a ketchup and I have a mustard. Um, balloon. So what we'll do each week is go in and put a balloon up at the table. You know, um, oh, I got the tablecloth too. Got a tablecloth, um, and you know the tablecloth with his logo and stuff on it. So that'll be there because my husband does catering art as well. So we're really trying to build up the catering piece. So, um, the new, um, postcards that we had made are for the catering. It have the catering stuff on there, um, as well as, you know, a lot of schools use him. A lot of schools use him. Um, uh, craft and vendor festivals use him. Um, like right now on his calendar, we have a lot of harvest festivals coming up. Um, harvest festivals, soccer tournaments, um, Halloween parties, um, fall, f we have two dog, two dog events. So here, like in a couple of the cities, they do a lot of events for dogs. It's called a uh, dog day. So we have a dog day coming up and then we have a dog fashion show coming up <laughs> so he has a, like a lot of events so yeah so that's really nice of the bank to you know recognize him as the uh small business um of the month so it'd be for the whole month of october um so you can just go in every you can go in every day and add stuff or remove stuff or you can go in every Saturday. Whatever, whatever you want to do, you have that whole month to do whatever you want. And that's something you guys could look into, too. Because if you have a small business account, your bank can allow you to have a table. When we went in there and, well, we served that bank for an event. We catered one of their events in their city. And so then that's how they asked him about um, doing that, too. But it's something that you can look into. Um, I know my bank for my small business is um, the girl. It's a girl that has, she creates dolls. She, gosh, what's her name? Fusion Dolls. It's called Fusion Dolls. And um, it's a black owned business. She's very young. She does um, beautiful dolls, beautiful black owned dolls. And she was on it as um, the small business uh for a month and now I see she's done that she's now she has a store she has a store I remember meeting her at a vendor event she now has a she has a store and she has a, um like a little cart in the hall at the mall because she went from I remember seeing her at vendor events then at the um the cart in the mall that she had now she has an actual store in the mall but she still has a cart too because I seen a cart the other day um, so yeah, that's something that you can do too. And then, you know, they have a table there and you set up all of your stuff. I'm quite sure you guys have seen businesses set up inside of your banks. And that's something you can do. You set up a, a basket there with all of your contact information, you know, your business cards, your postcards, you know, any type of banners you want to put up. Like the, the options are, are way there for whatever you want to do. Like they even said, he can hang a banner up in there. Um, you know, any type of billboard, probably. Uh, we're looking at pro not his big, tall banner. We may do one kind of this size um, for him and put that up in there. Um, menus on the table, uh, the postcards telling about the business, um, pamphlets, you know, how you got started. People love hearing your story on how you got started. Um, so, yeah, look into that because that's also an option for your business definitely look into crafting vendor festivals fall festivals um library events i know here in um our areas libraries have all types of events um and they don't usually charge for their events because 
they really can't charge you because it's a public um, you know, they're run by the city. So look for any library events too as well um, and set up to have your baskets. So so these are all the goodies that I have to create the, in, in, to create this, but, and I need to get started <laughs> because one, you know, we have to have it done before October. So we can uh, take it there, make it look really nice, seal it with a nice, you know, bowl, all that good stuff. So this is his uh, whole thing. With the, uh, I'm just waiting on the the mug and the journal and stuff to come. Um, I ordered that through um, through Vistaprint. I ordered that through Vistaprint. So yeah, so just waiting for those things to come and then I'll have that. And then, you know, what we'll do is just not put the whole thing of um, the little gummies out. But, you know, put out um, a few each week, go put something else or, you know, put something else out. These are cute. They're cute. Let's see. That's it. It's a hot dog. It has the mustard, ketchup, and relish. So that'd be a really cute. Um, they, they taste really good too. I, I do like them. Um, so we'll have those out. So yeah, what else was I gonna go over with you guys? Um, I don't know if you, oh, you see my pink basket. I did a pink basket. I, um, I was watching sister kim <laughs> and i was like you know what i have some boxes around you know what box this is the one of the post office boxes um i had mailed my finally mailed my granddaughter some of her school clothes and um the box the boxes weren't big enough so i still had like the smaller ones here so um, yep, my husband taped it up and then I was, I have one bathrobe left and so just pulled it together and, um, I'm going to wrap this one up, get this nice and wrapped. It has, um, body wash, body lotion, uh, cosmetic bag, manicure set. This here is the OPI, um, polishes that came to, to a pack. Put one in. Um, this here is the new um, silicone coin purse. A journal. And a sponge. And then put some flowers. So yes, yeah, so I have these. Because I have um, events that I'm going to take baskets to. And then events that I'm taking bags to. You know, I'm, events that I'm taking the plastic bags, the purple bags, and then events I'm taking baskets, too. So, yeah, and I'm trying to figure out with the cups. I don't know what to do with the cups. I just thought they were so pretty. They were all going to, like, three was just sitting there. So, I was like, oh, let me take this. And I never go to that Dollar Tree and um, happen to be over there. And, well, really, I got lost. <laughs> Dollar Tree, let me just go in here. But yeah, so then found my way back. But yeah, so that is about it. What else? Did I have anything else to show you? No. But yep, so I got my all my bags are done. Um, add these to the collection. Let's hear it. And that is it. These here. Then we'll go get some more. These are pretty. These would be pretty, like, little gifts, too, um, for little girls. So, yeah. Oh, I got a pumpkin. I got this pumpkin at um, Dollar Tree in the $5 aisle, in the $5 aisle. It was the last purple one. I said, oh, I got to get it. It's waiting here for me. But that is it. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys all for your well wishes for uh, the giveaway and all your support too. Um, yeah, that was just crazy. Um, thank you so much, Brenda. Um, God bless you. Enjoy um, your blessing. Uh, and 
you know, till next time, guys, continue to be loved, continue to be healed, restored, encouraged and empowered in everything that you do. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.